Radio Rahim here with Leo Santa Cruz on the verge of by far the biggest fight of your career. I think you would agree. Would you agree? Yeah, of course. Uh, biggest fight of my career in Staples Center against Amanda Maida, a great, uh, three-time world champion. I think it's the biggest fight of my career. Now, some people were expecting to see you maybe on the undercard of Pacquiao Mayweather, <laughs> but now that you're headlining your own show, uh, tell me about how this fight finally came together. How did you guys come to terms? No, uh, we just... Uh, I told me whenever I was, whenever you're ready to form artists, let me know. And I told him I was ready. I wanted that fight, and he made it possible. Now, the L.A. fans are going to love the fact that it's at the Staples Center. You've got a huge venue in L.A. You're kind of fighting for that Mexican L.A. pride. Uh, talk to me about how important that fight is to you in those terms. No, for me, it's very important. I think it's the biggest fight of my career. I'm the fir first time I'm in event, so I got to show the whole world. I have to show all the fans that Julio Santa Cruz is and that I deserve to be up there, and uh, I'm the king of L.A. Now, you and Abner, you know, obviously, you've grown up close to each other. You're in the fight game. you got the same promoter. What kind of relationship do you guys have? Uh, nothing. We just, whenever I see him, I shake hands and everything. Uh, we're not really good friends, or so we're not hate each other, but we just, uh, two, like, two athletes. Like, now, as we get closer to the fight, you know, um, tempers flare. People will start talking. Well, he hasn't waited too long. He's, he's already thrown some volleys over your way. He says you haven't faced, you know, solid competition. He's a much better fighter than you, et cetera. When you hear those kind of things, what do you think? No, there's more motivation for me to go out there and give him a great fight and w get the win. Uh, winning against him and doing a spectacular, maybe knocking him out or a good decision uh, with me is a, a, a great win. Now, you know, to be fair, you know, he's, he's probably had tougher fights than you in the sense that they've been tough. Yeah. Do you think that that means he's got more experience than you, or can you advantage him, and if so, in what way? Oh, yeah, maybe he does have more, a little more experience. Uh, he has been, I think, fighting more than me, so, but in the gym, that's where you win the fights. I train really hard in the gym with my dad, with my brother. Uh, we go out there, we give our all, and in the gym, we leave it all in the ring because... When we get up there in the ring, that's where you, you win the fights easier. Yeah. Are you the kind of fighter that studies his opponent? Are you watching tape? Are you looking for flaws in Admiral's game? Because, you know, he, is, he has been out there longer than you. There's a lot of tape out on, my, on him out there. Have you been looking at it? And the truth, no, I, I leave that to my dad and my brother. They're the ones that watch him since they're the ones that train me. They tell me, oh, what punch are gonna, might is going to get hit with or what are his flaws and stuff like that. So whenever they're training me, that's, they, they, give me they make me throw the punches they're gonna, that might is going to get hit with. Oh, Abner's been known to throw a low blow every now and then. Uh, are you concerned about that at all? And is that entered in, factored into your training? No, uh, that's not a factor. Uh, if he can low blows, the referee, I know the referee is going to take care of it. He's going to take points. Or uh, maybe if he's throwing too much, maybe disqualify him. But, you know, the, I leave it to the referee, and he's going to be go out there, concentrate on the fight, and hopefully get the win. Now, Abner definitely has a bigger name than you right now. Winning this fight would propel you past him and probably make you uh, known to a lot of fight fans who don't know you right now. So when you're in that ring, does it enter into your mind that you have to look good winning? Like maybe just winning on the cards isn't enough. You feel like you might have to knock him out. What, what kind of mindset are you going into this fight with? Yeah, my mindset for this one is to look spectacular, look uh, great, uh, try to go out there and try to stop him. Uh, so I'm going to go out there, leave everything and drink. And looks spectacular. I think if we get that victory, I think I'm happy with that. But we're gonna try to look better than that. When you envision the fight, man, what, what, how does it play out in your mind? Are you, are you walk, are you standing over his body? Is it a knockout? Talk to me about when, when who? I mean, um, Santa Cruz thinks of this fight at the end. What's happening? No, it's a great uh, fight, total to toe. Stay in the middle of the ring, banging each other, all, both of us bloody. Um, but me, I see him on top of him, working the body on top, and I, I see myself uh, stop him in the later rounds. Hope you know, <laughs> that's what we hope for as fans. Uh, we can't wait to see you at the Staples Center, August 29th. Thank Radio you. Rahim with Leo Santa Cruz.